recording in program. Hello guys, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing Hi, today? It's difficult in the job. Difficult? Why difficult? Yes. It's uh, very tired. Oh, uh, you were working a lot today? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. But where do you live, Miguel? In Quesaltepeque. But in you're, Quesaltepeque. you're originally uh, from Usurután. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Se me desconectaron los auriculares. Okay, excellent. Very good, guys. Um, I want to thank you for your punctuality. So, no sé si, si se escucha ahí. Okay, thank you very much for being punctual, Miguel, Julio um alex jose and marcos okay thank you for your punctuality i really appreciate that okay now today we have a topic that sometimes can be difficult in english it's not so difficult but if you don't pay attention it can be confusing it can be tricky but if you pay attention it's gonna be Easy, it's not so complicated. That is the passive voice. And we're gonna use the passive voice in different context. So I'm gonna play a video for you at the beginning of the class. And then when I finished playing the video, we're gonna, we're gonna understand a little bit better about the passive voice. And also I'm going to share a slide with you then we can make some sentences and we're gonna work on the platform together, okay? We're gonna work on the platform together because that exercise, specifically that exercise can be a little bit difficult. I'm talking about the exercise number 2.2. That's the one that we're gonna do together today. Okay, perfect. Now, <sighs> I'm going to start with the class because, yes, I need, I do really need to respect your punctuality. And I do really appreciate that you're here on time and that you're here. Um, wait a second. And then you're here uh, for the class. So thank you very much for that. I do really appreciate it. Now, let me share my screen. Oh, no, no, no. Before I share my screen, please send me the date to the chat because... Today is March, so the date today is gonna be different. So I want to know if you can still write the date and send the date to the chat. Because remember today is the number one day <laughs> in the month. I'm not gonna say the other word because you need to, to do it, okay? So please send the date to the chat. I wanna see if you can do it right now because it's different the day today.
Remember that in English is different than in Spanish. In Spanish, we first write the date and then we write the month. But in English, first we write the month and then we write the date. Let me see. Good job, Marielos. And remember guys to send it privately, only send it to Inglés Corporativo because then, yeah, it's better. Okay, so remember today is the first day. So first, aha, uh -huh, Miguel, you're like, yes, I remember now. Yeah, first, so the last two letters next to the number need to be S and T, okay? S and T. So for example, because we know that already, first, again, I'm gonna explain this to you again. We will write the date. And the first letter needs to be capital letter because, I mean, um, days of the weeks and months, months of the year, we write the first one with capital letter. Then the month today is March. And then here we have first is the first date of the week, first. And the year, I mean, the first day of the month, not the week. <laughs> then we write March 1st, 2022, because that is the date for today, okay? Now, um, let me share, remember that date in English is different than the date in Spanish. Let's go here. So if you can see the date right there, it's Tuesday, 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 March 1st, 2022. This is passive with prepositions. So we're gonna talk about the passive voice, but we're also going to talk about the prepositions there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, buen appetit. Sorry, I have a hungry. Thank you. No, no, no. It's okay. It's yeah. okay, Miguel. You can be eating. Por Miguel. He was working all day long, so he needs to eat. Si no, va a caer aquí en la clase. Pa, como los niños cuando estaban escuchando la oración a la bandera, ¿se acuerdan? Con el club semia. Yeah. Y se, los niños así que van escuchando la oración a la bandera y nada. So yeah, no, no, we don't want that, Miguel. Please eat. <laughs> okay, passive with prepositions. That was something else we're gonna be learning today. And today is the class number four. Yeah, because Thursday, Friday, Monday, and yes, today is the class number four. And um, pre advanced too. You already know. So I'm gonna play the video for you, the video that I'm talking about, where they explain the passive voice, a little bit of the passive voice with prepositions. You can also watch this video anytime you want on the platform, but I'm gonna play it here right now. Then when we finish watching this video, we're going to understand a little bit better the passive voice. And also the video you watched yesterday has a lot of passive voice in it. Remember, in the passive voice, the most important thing is the object of the sentence. So you need to make an emphasis or you want to make an emphasis in the object. So for example, if I wanna say in this moment, I, I teach the English class. So in that case, I'm making the emphasis with me. So I teach the English class. But if I wanna use the passive voice, I want you to pay attention specifically, not to me, but to the English class, right? So 
the object of that sentence, which is the English class, is going to be at the beginning of the sentence. And I'm going to say, the English class is being taught by me. Okay? Because the most important thing is the English class. That's what I need to make the emphasis. So, I'm going to watch the video right now. Because this time is with prepositions. Hi, after you listen to the audio program and watch the video with the explanation, we are sure you will understand how to describe causes using by, because of, due to, as a result of, and through. Stay with us. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Present perfect passive. The roadways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced due to overcrowding in city shelters. Okay, I'm going to pause the video because in this moment I need you to look at this. So the present, I mean, the passive voice can be with the present continuous passive, the simple present passive, the present perfect passive. So all the tenses in English, we can do them in the, into the passive voice. So in this case, I'm talking about, so if fumes from cars and trucks are polluting the, the air, that should be a sentence in the active voice. So if I do it the other way around, so this one right here is going to be work. It should be the the subject of the sentence. So the fumes from cars and trucks is polluting the air. So if you can see what I'm saying is polluting the air, this is in the present continuous. So when I go to the passive voice, I need to do the con like the conversion. So the first thing that I need to pay attention to is the object that in this case, we're talking about the air, the air, and we were talking in the present continuous in the active voice. So we need to talk about the present continuous in the passive voice. The air is being polluted. Remember that verb to be is going to be our auxiliary all the time. And here, the main verb of the sentence needs to be in the past participle. And then to talk about this, the thing that was the subject, we're going to use by, by fumes from cars and trucks. So for example, the same thing, the class is being taught by me. That means that I am the person doing the action. Before we go deep into the topic of passive with prepositions, I will divide the topic in two parts to make it easier for you to understand. Number one, present continuous passive. Number two, present perfect passive. I will begin now with number one. Let me show you how to form the present continuous passive. Subject plus is or are being plus past participle. What does the present continuous passive do? It describes an action that is in progress right now. For example, we may say, too many trees are being cut down right now, these days, or water is being contaminated. So if you can see here in this explanation that is in the video, we're talking about the passive voice with the present continuous. So we're talking about the object that is too many trees are being, because remember, we're going to use the subject that in this case, so the opposite was, was the object, but in this case is the subject. So the subject, the, main, the, the most important thing here, and then the structure is is 
or are plus being. In this case, I want you to pay attention because if it was only one subject, then the verb to be, the correct verb to be for this will be is. But we're talking about trees in plural. So the verb to be is going to be are. Too many trees are being cut. So with the verb cut is one irregular verb. So the past participle of cut is cut. So the same thing are being cut down right now. So the present continues. Remember that is something that is happening at the moment or in this timeline, in this moment. So that's the present continuous. Ready for number two? Present perfect passive. This is how to form this tense. Subject plus has or have, been plus past participle. We use present perfect passive to describe something that started before the present. The exact time isn't important. So in this case, we're talking about the present perfect. I know that maybe some modules ago, you went through the present perfect. The present perfect usually is, talk, is used to talk about um, experiences, things that happened in the past, but they don't have any specific time when they finished. So in this case, we said too many trees have been cut down. So if the trees if the trees were cut down yesterday, we will say too many trees were cut down yesterday because we're talking about a specific time and that's just the simple past. But in this case, we're talking about no specific time. So we're gonna use the present perfect. And the present perfect passive, the structure you're going to need is that right there. Subject plus has of have, do you know when you're going to use have, has, and when you're going to use have? Do you know that? You know when to uh, use has? has it is has. Mm -hmm. For you, huh? has, it, have, it is present. I, the, the audio was a little bit cut. So you say has is used with what? Has. Uh, lo que yo recuerdo es que el has se usaba cuando era pasado. Uh -huh. Y se refería, no me recuerdo, pero sí me recuerdo de que sí se refería a pasado y el have es como que tenía en presente. Y este es algo que... Okay. Guys, wait a second because I don't know. And oh yeah, so my, I don't know why my headphones are doing something really weird in this moment. So, but yeah, I can hear it now. Yeah, um, I heard that you were saying that has and have are different because has has something to do with the past and have something to do with the present. But actually, yes, like Julio is saying in the chat, has is used for he and she and it. So actually has is used with the third person singular, he, she, and it, correct. So in this case, we're going, uh, both are in the present. Both are in the present. Act actually has and have, um, they have the same meaning and they both are in the present. But when we use it as a verb in a sentence, they mean tener. But if we use it in a sentence as an auxiliary, it's like as, hemos, an, right? Uh, exactly, Julio, thank you for your explanation there in the chat. Guys, you can see it in the chat, uh, Julio's explanation, and that is correct. So now, and then when we have, right, we, we have written pass and have, we write been 
which is the past participle of the verb to be. And remember, the verb to be is our auxiliary. Actually, if you pay attention, guys, listen to this. If you pay attention, you can see the tense of the sentence in the verb to be. So if you realize here, in the other okay. example we this were looking hard. at, ready for you see here. So in the verb to be, you realize that this is present continuous. You see that? In the verb to be, present continuous. And then when we're talking about the per present perfect, again, it's the verb to be, which is in the present perfect. So the verb, I mean, the verb to be is the one that is going to tell us in what tense or what tense we are using at that moment. So let's listen. Have been plus past participle. We use present perfect passive to describe something that started before the present. The exact time isn't important. For example, too many trees have been cut down recently or in the last years. In either case, we will add a preposition right after the past participle. We may add by, because of, as a result of, due to. So these prepositions are the ones that we can use to give an extra explanation about the sentence that we're talking about in the present, I mean, the passive voice. So by is going to be like, who did it or what did it because of is going to be the reason why as a result of is going to be the res what caused that action and what is the result due to it's like uh, i would say this in spanish is debido a due to and through is like a través de that's the prepositions that we're going to use to add extra information to the passive voice that we're talking about. Okay. Through. Let's then add a preposition to our last example. Too many trees have been cut down because of overbuilding. Note, these prepositions have similar meaning. Remember we have... They have similar meanings, as she's saying in the in the video, but they give different information sometimes. As a result of overbuilding, yeah, that can be the same meaning because because it's the reason as a result of is the extra information that we're talking about. But by the first one that we see here, maybe the overbuilding. It's the company's fault, the construction companies. So if I want to say who cut the buildings, I mean, who cut the trees, I'm going to say that the construction companies cut the trees. So in this case, I'm going to add the example right now here. I'm going to say too many trees have been cut down by the construct wait a second construction companies like that you see so in this case the sentence is different because i'm saying too many trees have been cut down by and i'm telling who or what did it by the construction companies. And here I'm giving you the reason why they cut them down. Is it clear, guys? Or so so. <laughs> let's continue. Passive voice before. So let's make a quick review on the active and passive sentences. Active voice. Air pollution is threatening the health of people. Air pollution is the cause. Is threatening is the verb. The health of people is the object. Number one is air pollution and health of people is number two. So what we do now is exchange one and two, the object and the cause. Then write a preposition. 
the health of people by air pollution. Notice we left a blank space on the verb. That's because we need to identify the original tense. In this case, it's present continuous. And write the verb in that tense. For example, is or are being. Then take the original verb, example, threatened, and make it past participle of it. We will be left out with is or are being plus threatened. Remember what I was telling you. I don't know, but here is not pretty clear what it says, but yeah. Air pollution is threatening, threatening the health of people. This is the object. So who is causing is the air pollution that is the subject. But that's the active voice. When I'm talking about the passive voice, I told you, we need to pay a specific attention to the object, to the object of that. So the health of people is going to be my subject now. Then I'm going to use the verb to be as an auxiliary. And as you, if you can see, the verb to be is telling me that this sentence that here was threatening. So the verb was in the present continuous form. But in this case, no. In this case, it's going to be only the verb to be in the present continuous. And then the main verb of the sentence needs to be in past participle. And then, because I'm talking about the cause, or the subject, I'm going to use by air pollution. So by adding what is causing that, uh, or what is threatening the health of people. What is threatening the health of people? Oh, the air pollution. That's why I'm adding by in this case. Left out with is or are being plus threatened. We want you to do the next exercise. Rewrite the following sentences using passive plus the prepositions given. Remember, you may do them on our discussion box as well as in your notebooks. Number one, air pollution is... Okay, so take a screenshot of this because we're going to do this right now. We're going to make this um active voices into passive voices, okay? Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot, please. So we're gonna do, we're gonna need it for the exercise. Thank you to the people that have the cameras on. I really appreciate it because with that you prove that you are you. <clears throat> okay, so what we're going to do right now, it's do this air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas so now if i want to pay attention to so air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban urban areas the health of people so this is the object i need to identify the object first so the health of people is being threatened by, we're going to use the preposition. I mean, so again, so this is going to be the first thing. The health of people is being threatened by air pollution. And then the complement is going to be the, in the same place in urban areas. That's a six like that sorry my numbers <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm writing with my mouse okay, so the health so in this case is going to change the health of people is being threatened by air pollution in urban areas so that's a passive voice so what you need to do right now is rewrite these sentences or these statements into the passive voice is that Clear? It does clear. Yeah. Perfect. So we're going to so, go so. to the groups. So, so. <laughs> I will try, teacher. Yeah, it's not so difficult, guys. Just, just, you just need to find. So to make the this passive voice, you need to identify what is the object of the sentence. Because that is going to be the first thing you're going to write. What is the, the object? 
then the verb to be, and the main verb. When I have those things, then I'm going to go with the rest of the sentence. But the first thing and the most important thing is what is the object? What is the subject? What is the main verb? And I need to use the auxiliary verb be. If you have that in mind, you're going to do just fine. Don't worry. Hello, Nancy. I have a problem with my internet and I, and I can't. Okay, so I'm gonna send you to a breakout room. Let me know if it works. And if not, try, just try, just try to join. Sorry, intending no, this. Okay. Okay. I can teacher. I'm I'm going to try to work uh, myself. Okay.
Hello, Nelsi. So I think you're having problems with your, inter your internet. So try to do the exercise you, and you send it here to the chat, and I'm gonna be checking your exercise, okay? Okay. Um, yes, I'm working a lot because I have problems. Yeah, it's so okay. Send yes, thank you. Porque okay. recuerdo que primero, mm. primero this era this way. Um, the whole of people begin begin it, 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 it the 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 el, el, el contexto de la fórmula es subject plus is are the agrega begin Y luego paspa. Mm, okay, yes, what Alice is saying is true. So remember that the being it's Help. going uh, next to the is. And threatening is not threatening. Threatening needs to be in the past participle. Is being threatened as like like the example we saw. Mm -hmm. To the past participle. Mark. Soil and underground water. Soil and underwater. Underwater, underground are water. Are contaminated. Have Just been. Listen to me one second. So yes. there you're saying the health of people is threatening. But remember that in the passive voice, the verb to be is indicating the tense. For example, if the verb to be is going to say that we're using the ing. So the health of people is being, is being the verb to be. And then the main verb of the statement needs to be in what? In past participle. Correct. So we need to change that. The health of people is being threatened by the air pollution in urban, urban areas. There we go, excellent. And guys, if you can see this exercise right there are the same exercise that we have in the platform. So if you can take note, so you can do it later. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. okay. I think...
Uh, only change the the object to the begin to the sentence and uh, use the the preposition and copy the, the first uh, part of the sentence only okay. is the change change the order only I, I think and number two. Uh, Did so, you agree? Yeah. Yes. Yes, of course. Number two, soil on the ground. Soil on the ground world. Okay. How contaminated the cows of because livestock farms. Lives, livestock farms. Livestock farms. Okay. okay. Farm. Number three, the acid acid rain has so oil. has a result the burning. Of gas, oil, and coal. Oh, okay. Number four, bowling the sun layer has greater trout. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. The destruction of rainforest is harming rain plants in wild life. Uh -huh. So in Teacher, it's so difficult. Why is difficult? Yes. You <laughs> mean? Uh, we, we can't understand. <laughs> okay, remember what I told you. The first thing you need to do is identify what is the object of the sentence. That's the first thing you need to do identify what is the object. Then you need to, the, then you need to use the verb to be. And the verb to be is going with the um, tense. So el tiempo con el que lo están utilizando. If you're talking about present continuous, you're going to be using is being, okay? If we are talking about um, present perfect, it's going to be have been or has been. So the first thing is there. The health of people is the object. So that's the, going to be the first part of my statement. The health of people. The health of people, what? So if you can see threatening, what is that tense? ¿Cuál es ese tiempo? Threatening. Uh, ¿Pero qué tiempo es? Present continuum. Okay. So that is indicating that the verb to be that I'm going to use needs to be in the present continuous. So the health of people is being, okay. is being. And then I will need the main verb. What is the main verb in that sentence? What is the verb principal de oración? Bye. No, it's in a verb, it's a common sense preposition. Threatening, threatening. Okay. Go, like we did already, I N G in the verb to be. So the health of people is being threatened. The past participle threatening. The health of people is being threatened by air pollution in urban areas. Yes or no? Uh, the, the, the order teacher that the sentence uh, is, is threatening. Vaya, miren, de nuevo. I El objeto the primero es people. the health of people. Then the verb to be El verbo to be tiene que estar con la forma del tiempo. So, is being, right? Is being. The health of people is being, and then the main verb, which is threatening, necesita ir ahí, in the ing. I mean, eh, necesita ir con el verbo pasado simple. Entonces, 
hasta el momento tendríamos así, miren. The health of people is being threatened. The health of people is being threatened by air pollution. And then the complement in urban areas like that. You get it now? So, so teacher, but I, I had an idea. Yo creo que se, se congeló la, la pandemia. Okay. I didn't watch the answer. Alex, what happened? <clears throat> Hello, what happened? Okay, I estoy intentando trabajar solo. Ah, okay, 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 it's okay. Teacher, can you review my my sentence? Yeah, I'm Please. looking at them. I finish. Teacher, help me. Hello. So, I was in the breakout rooms and I understood that there was a big confusion in everything help. that we were doing. Are, 
are confused. Yeah, I know you're confused. But when I ask you here, hey, do you understand? You were like, yes, teacher. Okay, let's do it here in the platform. The first thing you need to identify is what is the object of this sentence? Remember, the object is not the last part of the sentence. The object is where the action, I mean the verb, has a reaction. So air pollution is threatening, this is the main verb, okay? The health of people. What is the object in this sentence? ¿A dónde recae la acción del verbo? ¿Cuál es el objeto de esta oración? ¿Dónde cae? The health of people. The health of people. The health of people. Lo primero que voy a hacer yo es escribir acá. The health. Like that. Okay. Then. I need to identify the tense. So if you can see here, we're talking about the ING, pero este es el verbo principal. No necesita tener ING. No, porque para eso está el verbo to be. Les decía yo en inglés yes. que el verbo to be va a ser el que va a ir en presente continuo. Entonces necesita ser is being, porque el presente continuo del verbo to be es being. Entonces, es bien. Ya el verbo threatening ya no necesita ir en el presente continuo porque ya tenemos el presente continuo en is being. Ahora, el verbo principal se va a colocar después de nuestro auxiliar, que es el verbo to be, y se va a colocar en qué forma? In present. Present what? Past participle. Past participle. As as like that. Is being threatened. Now, yes. ¿Qué lo está causando? By. By what? ¿Qué causa esto? ¿Qué causa que la salud de las personas esté amenazada? ¿Qué es? Air pollution. Air pollution. Air pollution. Air pollution. Y luego el final, como eso no tiene nada de relevancia en mi oración, o sea, no está en la regla, se va a escribir tal cual. ¿Ok? Entonces, vamos a revisar esto, a ver si nos quedó bien. No, algo me hizo falta. <ríe> o algo escribí mal, Deme un segundo. A veces por un punto, guys, ahí cambia todo. Ah, sí dice que tengo que escribir en Urban Areas Together, es cierto. Bueno, sé, está raro. Pero la oración tendría sentido incluso así como la hice yo. Pero la plataforma, como la plataforma no entiende el pensamiento de nosotros, vamos a hacerle caso a la plataforma. Y dice que las arpas, áreas urbanas van junto con el objeto. Así que, nada, vamos a hacerlo así. So the last part in urban, urban, urban areas... Vamos a eliminar. Y the health of people in urban areas. Ahí está. Ahí está. Esperen, me lo voy a poner mute porque siento hay un montón de ruido de fondo. Y eso no me ayuda. Ok. So, se si fijan, eh, urban areas, entonces todo el objeto lo vamos a tomar como esto. Todo eso es el objeto. Entonces, todo eso va a ir al inicio. The health of people in... Mira, aquí creo que tengo doble espacio. Yes. In urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. Let's see. Yes, that is correct. Let's go with number two now. What is the object of this sentence? Identifican ustedes. Subject lives to farms. Object, soil and underground water. Entonces, si yo necesito el object, soil and underground water. So, soil and underground water. Ok. That is the what? The object. 
have been because yes, thank you. Because I'm using here have contaminated. I'm talking about the present perfect. So yes, I'm gonna use the verb to be in the present perfect form. Have been then the verb in the present perfect. Yeah, yes, I'm a present perfect. Una consulta está compartiendo pantalla que a mí me parece frisado o no sé si es mi internet. Ah, no, es cierto, no lo había dado a compartir. Ahí está. Soil and underground water have been contaminated. Have been contaminated. Yeah. And then we need to add the reason. Because of. What is the reason? Because of what? Liston Farm. What is it? Liston Farm. Livestock. Um, livestock farms. Okay. Farms. You see? So basically, this is going to be the last part. The first part is going to be the last part. Me, Let's check that. Because is because uh, the word is wrong. Oh yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mi dyslexia. Sorry. Because like that. Yes, we have it right. Y la demás se la voy a dejar a ustedes porque ustedes son perfectamente capaces. So, we're gonna do no. he, you're gonna, porque se ríen si son capaces. I know that you are capable of. So, now, you need to identify the, sub, the object and this is gonna be the subject. The verb to be, el verbo to be le va a indicar el tiempo. No pongan el verbo principal con el tiempo. El verbo to be va a ser ese. Y después el presente perfecto con el verbo principal. Ok. Intentemos hacerlo y vamos a ver mañana cómo les va de acuerdo. Ok. Ok. okay. Section one and two is for today. ¿Cómo? Section one and section two is sí. for, for today. today. Yes, correct. <laughs> yeah. For okay. one and two. Yes. <laughs> Have a good I night, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Sorry, section three. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.